More than 100,000 Michiganders are in the crosshairs of a medical crisis. Even worse, they have no idea. They have a figurative bullseye in their brains. While you may think epilepsy is easy to diagnose, brand new research tells a very different story. Paula Dutman shows us what you and your doctor should be looking for. I want you to look at this because this is really a basic EEG. It's not invasive. It's not painful in any way, but this procedure could actually save your life or the life of others. Because if you think having a seizure is a big, visible, obvious event, well, you would not be correct. In fact, you could be one of 100,000 Michiganders who is an epileptic who is undiagnosed. It wasn't until Tom Vaughn of Shelby Township had this procedure done that he realized he had epilepsy. I'm gonna take your glasses off. What his wife noticed was a shaking foot and a little drool. But when Tom complained of being tired and periods of just zoning out, an alert physician at Henry Ford Health System thought he needed to be tested for epilepsy. He doesn't know he's having a seizure right he's now. He's not knowing. Uh, were you talking about his foot shaking? Right. Is that considered okay. a seizure? Well, it's a part of a seizure. Right now he's finding his hands. The CDC has just released a study that indicates millions of Americans suffer from epilepsy and don't realize it. In Michigan, that number translates into 108,000 Michiganders who think epilepsy means a grand mal seizure, shaking and salivating. But experts now recognize that an epileptic seizure can be extremely subtle. And that's what makes them so dangerous. If you're driving, operating heavy machinery, caring for children, anything that demands 100% of your rapt attention is at risk if you're having a seizure and you don't recognize it. It's tough to say unless there is an EEG. Uh, that's a brain wave test. Tom loves woodwork and working with saws. Imagine if one of them had happened while using a saw. Be very dangerous, yeah. You know, if they don't know it. It does affect their lives. Uh, the seizures may become stronger, more pronounced. They intensify in how they're presenting. They may have a convulsive seizure. What should families be looking for? All seizures present differently. The only way to know for sure is by measuring the brain waves with that EEG. <laughs> but a good rule of thumb is a combination of involuntary behaviors lasting for a few moments. Often the common denominators, those behaviors are followed by confusion, loss of awareness, or a dry cough, or a metallic taste in your mouth after the event. So the report by the CDC is aimed at doctors as much as patients because so many people are going undiagnosed. The bottom line is if someone has any combination of involuntary or unexplained behaviors, involuntary behaviors, doctors and patients ask for that EEG brain test to rule out epilepsy. Karen? All right, some important information for us this afternoon. Thank you, Paula.